10 years, one program, a new legacy. This is what characterizes Coach Quinton Hillsman and his Syracuse women's basketball team. As the season came to an end, they certainly lived up to their own expectations. We're super proud of, you know, this season that we've had and uh, it was a phenomenal run. It was a great run for our seniors and, you know, we take last night as not a loss, but uh, it's still a win for us because all that we've done this season. It, it's been a it's been a long road, but it's, but it's been very fulfilling. Um, we fight hard every year and um, this year was like no no other year for us. So um, we came into the season with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with high expectations and we talked about that immediately, how we, we were going to be a deep team and we had a chance to run deep into the tournament. I think it really, really, really came, came true. Syracuse's full court press seemed to have flustered opponents all season, but when it came time for the tournament, they took it to a whole new level. The Orange lost in the finals of the ACC tournament to number two Notre Dame. As a result, Syracuse entered the NCAA tournament as the four seed. All seemed okay on their bracket until they reached one seeded South Carolina in the Sweet 16. But once Syracuse pulled the unexpected upset and then went on to beat Tennessee, the Orange was on their way to Indianapolis. Syracuse beat Washington in the Final Four to earn their spot in the championship, going in as 26-point underdogs to the UConn Huskies. Now, just five months ago, I was here for media day with the women's basketball team before their season even started. They were confident going in, but no one would have guessed that they would have been the team to face UConn in the championship. Final score, 82-51 to Huskies for their fourth straight title. They may have made history, but Coach Q and his team made history of their own. They will be forever remembered as the first in program history to make the NCAA National Championship. Reporting for Citrus TV, I'm Arielle Epstein.